Hey guys, it's Alex coming at you from, from uh, Southern California. I've just uh, been watching uh, a few of the Steve Carlson videos uh, today. I figured I'd, I'd come on and uh, do my part in, in uh, spreading the word about uh, the situation and uh, hopefully he gets out of this relatively soon. Uh, I spend most of my life in the Midwest, so I know how devastating uh, you know, flooding can be. I know my folks have experienced um, some loss from uh, from flooding uh, over the years. Uh, nothing to the extent of uh, you know what Steve has experienced, um, but I do have a, a close friend also who uh, you know, about six years ago I think he had a uh, you know several feet of um, uh, water in his uh, basement as well, and it was you know, quite uh, devastating. So. Anyway, just uh, trying to spread some uh, good vibes here, and uh, I'll uh, leave a link to the uh, GoFundMe page. I'm sure you guys have already seen that. Um, as of a few minutes ago, I mean, it was pretty close to, to the 5,000 uh, goal, so uh, just fantastic uh, to, to see the, the VC step up and, and help out in that way. So uh, I just grabbed uh, my Steve Reich. Uh, records, um, the first Steve that kind of came to mind, and uh, yeah, I just saw um, yeah Michael P. Dawson. I know he he showed one Steve Reich uh, record, but so I just grabbed the the few that I have uh, here. Uh, Steve Reich, uh, an artist that um, and I wish I had every single thing that that he's ever done, but uh, these are the ones that I've you know collected so far over the years. Uh, I know I showed this one before. This is a kind of a, I think it's like a bootleg, but it sounds pretty good. Um, live at Berkeley uh, University Museum, 1970. Uh, kind of cool too, because I, you know, I, I bought this at uh, Berkeley, the Berkeley, uh, the Amoeba at uh, Berkeley. And, uh, really, really cool uh, cover as well on that one. Uh, is a reissue on the Superior Viaduct. Uh, very hard to find. You know, one of his maybe finest moments here drumming. Uh, <clears throat> drumming for eight small tuned drums, three marimbas, three glocking spiels, male and female voices, whistling and piccolo. Sort of a schematic of the musicians. And here's a photograph. I've shown this one before as well. Yeah, really, really nice uh, reissue. I haven't played this one in a while. I think I'll play that one again soon. Another one I found in the wild. Uh, Steve Reich, six stat, six marimba. Another one of his, uh, you know, percussion experiments. Some of the photographs there. This one is on uh, on none such. Recorded in 1986. So, yeah, 1986. Kind of later, later period. Steve there. One of the all-time classic Steve Reich records. Kind of a. If you don't have any Steve Reich, if you don't plan on really delving too deep, you know, this is definitely one to um, to seek out uh, on ECM. From 1978, uh, music for 18 musicians. Wonderful cover art there. Um, obviously, a, a large 18 uh, piece ensemble. Uh, this one has a, not only percussion and voice, but uh, some string instruments, some. Uh, Brass as well, possibly some woodwind as well. Um, beautiful, beautiful record. Wow, uh, this one's on a Deutsche Gramophon. Six pianos. Music for mallet music. Uh, mallet instruments, voices, and organ. Another beautiful one. It's from 1974, the German uh, Deutsche Grammophon label. 
a couple more here on ECM. This one's from 1982. Another classic, classic Steve Reich record. <laughs> Telehim. Um, so the strings, kinds of percussion instruments, English horn, oboe. Um, yeah, really, really nice record here, recorded in uh, 81, I believe in uh, Germany. And then the last one, I think it's one of the last ones that I found, Octet, uh, Music for Large Ensemble, Violin Phase, and Violin Phase. Um, Yeah, so this is sort of a compilation of different works from 67, Violin Fates from 1967, and then uh, Music for, for Large Ensemble uh, from 78, and then Side 2 is the Octet piece uh, from 1979. Um, now, Violin Phase was recorded in 1980 in New York. Uh, it's just an older composition, I think. So yeah, this is my Steve Reich records. Um, always looking for more. Uh, highly recommended if you know if you don't don't know where to start with uh, sort of minimalist uh, you know, music. You know, I know Terry Riley records can be a little bit uh, difficult to find. Most of the stuff is fairly available in the U.S., so worth checking out. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, check out uh, Steve's GoFundMe page. Uh, donate if you can. Uh, it's a great cause, a great guy, and uh, definitely uh, needs your support. Hope everybody's well, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.